Hey race fan, Brian Davis Races, and you can too. Today on the channel, I ran across the company that makes these insoles, and the claims are pretty fantastic. Now, I'm a pretty decent sprinter, so I wanna test these claims out, because if I could add 10, 20 watts to my top end sprint, that would be fantastic. So I also called my friend Brent, who will be here in a moment, and we together are going to test a couple things. So I bought these very expensive uh, insoles here. I also bought the cheapest insoles that I could find on Amazon and we have the insoles that we normally wear on our day-to-day -day ride. There's a hill right down the street from my house. We're gonna do that same hill, put a start finish line on there and uh, give it our go multiple times. If you want to add power to your top end sprint, stay tuned to this video or I will tell you that buying insoles is no way to deliver top end power. We're gonna find out. I really don't know. Hi Brent. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for coming. If these things work, we're gonna be pumped. So our first run is we're gonna go out and do a baseline. So we're not gonna change anything with our insoles right now. We're just gonna take whatever our shoes have and whatever we've been riding all year and go blast this. So. It's hot, so it doesn't take much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel good today. I feel good. I'm ready for this. I've been excited all week about this test. Yeah. I'm super stoked. On that hill, roll through this, start the sprint, wind it up this big hill. Not big, but you know, whatever, a hill. And then our goal here is that you're gonna, the insoles will be tested on the max power here in the beginning, but it'll also be tested on the ability to sort of hang on to that power as long as possible because at the top of this hill, it flattens right out. And then you're, you're not really fighting the hill anymore. You're just fighting your, your body. <laughs> so if these, Insoles really make your body more efficient. That should be evident uh, in your ability to sustain the fight a little bit longer. Baseline, max power, test. Like this, like you know, 10 to 15 seconds is the ATP PC. So, ATP like phosphocreatine system that lasts really well trained athletes maybe 20 seconds, like at the most. But it's uh, about a five to one like recovery ratio for every second, five seconds of recovery. That's for like I think it's like 95 percent, and then it's half for every another one to five ratio of work to rest wow so to be fully recovered it's like you know probably 10 minutes yeah we want to be close to that if we can that's why i called in the smarty pants otherwise this would be just more dummy pants brian video hello mrs davis races uh we have brought in paula for science she's going to blind test our shoes i have some gloves if you want to wear them so you don't get ickies from our existing insoles Basically, he's saying our feet are sweaty. I know. I actually thought of it as I walked oh, out I know. here. You, you didn't have to tell me you thought of it. I, I knew you thought of it like since hours ago. Funny enough, Brent and I have the exact same insole from Specialized uh, prior to this test. All right. All right, you can't look when you put them on because the names of the soles are right in there. Paula has placed the shoes in front of us. We are looking up and away so we don't see the insoles as we put them on our feet. This is a little harder than you might imagine. I feel like I probably know which one I have because I took them out of the envelope. Um, but Brent definitely doesn't know, so. These feel substantial. Yeah. Um, it almost feels like there's a ramp under the toe. Interesting. Like slightly ramped 
So oh. both. They also have a metatarsal button. So we are three for three on metatarsal button. Brent says those feel expensive. I will not comment on that either way. There is, I would say, less, it feels like less arch support than my specialized ones, but underneath, it's really the forefoot that feels very different, very different. Interesting. Okay. And mine feel really just full. Like everything is, everything is full. Slightly more voluminous. Yeah, more vo voluminous. put on our shoes again mm -hmm. okay close your eyes all right commencing the closing Keep them closed. Nope. sprint number one on insole number three right now We have definitely proven something. Brent is faster than Brian. He's won everyone. So just so I can feel a little better about myself. How old are you? Uh, 27. 27. Okay, I'm 43. The kin soles these are, but I felt the fastest with these on. Did you? Yes. I am very sure I know which ones I am wearing. And I honestly felt no difference. I don't feel any differences. These felt the best. Yeah. I also have way less numbness and tingling in my toes from these than I did in the other ones. Interesting. Dr. Science, Mrs. Davis races, we are done. Yeah. Can you guess it? We guessed. Okay. So I guess I have the expensive ones now. I really don't know, but I felt faster. But those you feel faster. Okay. Da, 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 da. Felt very little difference performance wise. Performance. You got it? Is? Those are expensive. Those are? Right? Let me see those. No, those are expensive. Yeah, these are the expensive ones. Okay. These are the cheapies. Yeah, those these are the cheapies. Yeah. I was totally, this is great news. I was totally wrong. When you put those on, I was like, oh, these are the cheapies because they felt so soft. Ah, oh, they have a cushion on top. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. These felt fast. And you felt faster. Oh, That's so interesting. There this is know. good science. And he had no clue. Because my brain is no. tiny. <laughs> and I, could, I couldn't figure <laughs> out the difference. I th these were so much more comfortable in the forefoot. You know what, what's too. funny is that when I had these on and I thought these were the expensive ones, I was like, wah, wah, what a letdown. Like they don't feel any different than my normal shoes. And uh, when I put those on, I thought they were the cheapies because it filled the shoe so much. Well, I think that's so much of that carbon, like that arch. Yeah. Like there's a, there's a lot of structure there. Oh, wow. That is stiff as a board. See, I never took these out of the box. I have no I'm idea. I'm guessing what they... that's part of the thing too, right? Is like as you're like as you're loading your foot, that probably has some sort of spring effect to it. Yeah, I'm maybe. guessing that's. Oh, now I'm super process. stoked to see what my power was with with those, time. and then what your what yours is going to be. So that's you don't know what your power is yet. I, I, it's all recorded, but I don't. I haven't looked it up. So. Let's dive into the data here. Now I did a 24 second sprint is what it ended up being because we had a slowdown when we hit the turn and then hit anyway 24 seconds so control brent 722 average and uh, had a lost drop data <coughs> garmin on his second sprint so i just used his 722 for the average and a 1242 max there's mine 820 823 average 1400 1500 max so taking those uh and then here's the expensive 724 for brent 1264 mine 837 1431 
the four average together is 775 with a 1368 max average across all four sprints. That'll be interesting later. Okay, and now let's take a look at the cheapies. The cheapies, again, Brent had a data dropout, so uh, adjusting for that, the averages across three of the four sprints were... Uh, actually, I doubled Brent's, so it was still four, but I just doubled his best one. 774.1305 was the average there. Okay, so then if we take Brent's average, his uh, with cheap, expensive control, cheap, expensive control, mine as well, we're going to get blended averages. So the control, the blended average across all of ours were 788. All, you can see all that. Now, uh, what I did was I assigned points to each of the categories. And the reason I did that is so that we could have essentially a podium. So sometimes uh, the expensives were the most power, the highest average. Sometimes they weren't. So taking into account those changes, I think uh, using this average or using this point system allows us to figure out across the board who's the winner. And the winner is the expensive insoles are the winner. Again, no one paid for this. I have no ax to grind with trying to sell you these things. I just simply think they do actually work better. And... I've had a number of hours on them after this test in group rides and doing some sprints on my own and doing some extended, longer, harder efforts and some just uh, putsy slow rides. And I feel like maybe for me, it helps to know what they are. So it, it definitely makes me feel like I can be more powerful or more locked into the bike is probably how I would describe it. More locked into the bike. And to me, that's worth it. I know that my two highest power numbers were with you. Yeah. Wow. Five, uh, at least 20 watts. Whoa. Interesting. Which is kind of worth it, yeah. <laughs> you know, for what they, so they're $160 shipped from Germany. Okay. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. Like for 20 watts, right? Like if I told you there was a handlebar that could get you extra 20 watts See, the, for the 160 bucks. All, the thing that makes it a hard sell, right? Is that it's 20 watts for like five seconds Yeah. versus a helmet at 40k is 15 watts less drag, right? But it's all the time. All the if time. You're riding fast. Yeah, that's fair. That's good. Good analysis. Very good <laughs> right here is what you're paying for. Yeah. It's all. It's all that. That's in your head. That this part that you bought makes you feel faster. That's a huge win already. Just like after the sprint, it felt faster. Yeah. But it, I mean, you know, like if you went and did another race a week later, you'd be like, oh, I got my good stuff set up, right? right. Like you, you would feel mentally strong well thanks brent i appreciate you coming man good sprints thank you and cl fun. clearly the sprinting champion <laughs> clearly i'm a little disappointed about that if i'm honest I, th I thought maybe i could get one off off all these sprints but no nope. it, it's fun because without racing and like very few group rides it, i haven't done like a whole lot of like true, true sprint efforts so Those it's kind of fun to just come out and ride with that being the only goal. Well, the goal on the channel is to grow our sport, grow our knowledge, grow our fitness, and hopefully I delivered that to you today. I know that Brent delivered some speed and some watts and some power to you today, so at least you got that going for you. Links for all the stuff that I bought are gonna be down in the description, so go check that out. And if you guys pick up a pair, throw it in the comments, let me know, let me know what you think. Uh, have you found an insole or product out there that has helped you produce better sprint power? I'm kind of on a mission to explore the sprint power thing, so let's hear it. All right, thanks for watching. See ya!